Um, next, we have our very energetic speaker, Serena. And as you can see, she's running around. She's always full of energy. And that what she will be talking about. It's about energy and um, to your mental health too. And she, uh, she is a former top 50 WTA pro tennis player. And um, she used, she was the world number one under 16 junior tennis player. Uh, is it in South Africa, right? In the world. In the world, yeah, yeah. And she was born and raised in South Africa. So let's give her a big round of applause to welcome Serena. Thank you. Wow. Hi, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> I did not expect this room to be so full. This is really amazing. I want to, <laughs> first I want to ask you a question. That was on my 40th birthday, by the way. What is the new 2019 you, you are seeking within yourself, and what does that person look like? Just take a second, just take a moment, and just have a little picture in your mind, and just see, is it about your health? Is it about a relationship? Is it about relationships? Is it about your career, your mission? What is it? We all learn from our challenges, and we all have challenges. Who have challenges? Yeah, you sure? <laughs> okay. Because of my challenges, big was, was, was energy. And energy is the reason why I'm standing in front of you here today. Because I was seeking, because I, as you see from my, my presentation, I had really, really big challenges with energy. I want to share with you, there are, I have some gurus. So I don't know about you guys, but do you have role models that you look up to? You do? Okay. So my health guru and role model is Dr. Myron Benz from USANA. And that's why I'm so invested in this company. I want you to know that this is a guru for me. Uh, everything I've learned in health has come from USANA. And I say this with my whole being. <laughs> Another part is like understanding the power of your mind. And I'm going to talk about that too. Dr. Joe Dispenza, for instance. Tony Robbins, who does not tell Tony Robbins, right? <laughs> um, and he says here, the quality of your life is the quality of where you live emotionally. Right? Uh, and then I am, these days I, I love going into a spiritual kind of thing and this is not about religion, it's just about really knowing it's like energy is useful only if you can direct it in the way you want. That is when a human being transforms in a, into a spiritual possibility. And spiritual is really about how we feel, how life is and how we, whoopsies, too much energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do want to tell you, like, this is what I looked like, I was playing tennis, and it was a little bit in the beginning of who and what I am, but I feel like, you know, I played against the Williams sisters and the whole thing, I did not think that I reached my potential, I actually feel like I failed, because I had a dream of winning Wimbledon, and what set me back was my health, it was, I had a ton of injuries, so as you see here, um, this is what I looked like before, I was shame back then. Uh, I look a little big here. I look really red there. Like must have been a bit of inflammation. Really fat there. Really old. And and this is who I am. I feel younger than I have been ten years earlier. Coming back to my tennis. Um, these are my injuries. I had five surgeries and four stress fractures before the before the age of 23. So <laughs> I was always injured. I was always hungry. Why? I could never understand, even after training for three to six hours a day, I still didn't lose weight. Why? So here's my, my, my uh, conclusion from, through everything that I've learned is that I was eating too high, the, my, the food was eating was too high in glycemic index. And you know, as if you're in USANA, uh, that my blood sugar got spiked, and which means it drops down really fast. And that means that it's like putting gas, I mean like gasoline on, a, on fire, <laughs> it just burns. And so it causes a lot of inflammation. And you can imagine if you do exercise, the inflammation actually just keeps building up as you go. And eventually it really, it took its toll on me. So I, I contracted mono in my early, uh, late 20s, early 30s. What a disaster, something to have. Do you guys know what mono is? 
is that that illness that you sleep a lot. And it so happened, it's the Epstein-Barr virus. It so happened that Dr. Myron Wenz was the found like he um, he created the testing kit for the Epstein-Barr virus, which I was like, wow, really? <laughs> so it kind of came. It's such a coincidence. But I do want to highlight USONA's part in my recovery and getting my energy back and, and regaining my health. So this was before my USONA awakening. Um, I was sleeping a lot. <laughs> I mean, I was sleeping for 15 hours a day. I'm not even kidding. My mom was like, oh, my child, what's wrong with you? Are you OK? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Just look. I mean, it literally it, ling <laughs> it lingered for three years. And, you know, it really caused me a lot of mental depression, emotional distress. I can't even tell you, spiritually empty, bankrupt. I just, I felt like there was nothing left for me to live for if I can't play tennis and if I don't have my energy. So, I decided to get energy. <laughs> so, and I, I knew it had to happen somewhere. I wasn't quite sure. So, I actually want to do a little exercise with you guys. So, let's feel some energy. Everybody stand up real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, I was going to get some music, but apparently there's a copyright thing, so we're just going to have to do it without music, okay? So we're going to do like a quick runners where you go, you go as fast as you can for 20 seconds. Are you ready? Okay, uh, one, two, three, go, and here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going! Excuse my sweat under my arms. I've been nervous. So, like this, okay? So you go, and then you go, breathe your out through your nose, okay? Are you ready, sir? So. in your body can make such a big difference in how in how you generate and I know Dr. Sophia spoke a little bit about it there are four ways for me to generate some energy first is your physical body and I'm going to talk so if you if you're happy inside of your physical body you feel health and you feel pleasure am I right if you are happy in your mental you feel inner peace and you feel joy. Am I right? Mm -hmm. If you feel happy in your emotions, you have a feel of you have a sense of love and compassion. Am I right? Okay. Your thoughts become your feelings. Your feelings becomes your emotions. Your emotions becomes your attitude. Your attitude becomes your personality as people know you. So where are you starting in your life? through your thoughts, that is creating the energy that you want. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> yes, so my thoughts becomes my feelings. My feelings becomes my emotions. My emotions becomes my attitude. And my attitude becomes my personality. All right. In the physical energy, what I've learned what I did to overcome it, and where I am today, is kind of like my, my story. But I think I messed around with these slides a little bit. Um, anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for this, but I do wanna go quickly over this. How is my time going? Am I good? So I'm gonna go there. Who does yoga? Really, that's it? Just them? Oh my gosh, you guys have to see them. You have to see them do yoga. She comes on the stage and she, and she just puts it up there. I've never seen somebody like that. It's like amazing. Anyway, 
So the, the, there are five life forces that the pranas, have you heard of pranas at least? Okay, so the first one is your breathing, your respiratory. So did you go in and then, and if you actually do that breathing, your mind starts to get clear, right? So uh, if you low in that breathing thing, then you actually will become weak and you literally just pass out. The second one is Udana. So Udana gives you the buoyancy. So have you guys, and I've done this this morning with the kids. I was teaching this morning, I still had two hours. And I was like, you gotta do some buoyancy. And they're like, oh, okay. And it's like, you gotta use it from your core. It's like when you go really nice and light. So a dead person has no buoyancy. Just dead weight, <laughs> right? So I, <laughs> so that's why you wanna make sure that you always have light thoughts at least, or do some exercise so you can move around, have some lightness. The next one is Samana. So if you rub your hands really, go, go ahead, rub your hands really fast against each other, really fast, really fast. Go, 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 go. Okay, and then you just put it in front of you like this. Just close your eyes for a second. Can you feel that heat and that energy? Okay, that is you making, doing some, making pressure in your body and it causes heat. That's another life force, right? So if you, if you are low in this, you're gonna become cold and stiff, right? So <laughs> the next one is a pana, it's your sensory. So, so. If you have too much to drink, alcohol or something, you have no senses. Have you seen people like that? They're just like, <laughs> okay, no senses. So that is another area that you wanna do. And then the, the last one, the vinyana, is the flow. So you have your nervous system and you have all this energy flowing through your nervous system. It's your cells, it has to communicate with each other. Now guess what? I'm part of a company that has put all their focus into cell communication and cell signaling. And this is exactly what it is. For instance, if a snake bites you, um, some of those snakes that has the venom, it actually it starts to rot away the cells because it degenerated and it died, right? As we get older, our cells degenerate. And what happens is we need to find something that kind of pushes it back up, gives the signaling. Because the brain still has to talk to the foot, but if the back is broken, they're not communicating, right? Okay. So I thought there must, <laughs> there must have been a way. <laughs> it was not this morning. <laughs> it, was a, it was a while ago, before my rave three. <laughs> I, was just, I was so desperate for energy. And then this one day, I got a call from Liesl Huber. You sort of people know who Liesl Huber is. She's, she's a former fellow South African tennis player. Um, she, we used to play doubles together. She used to shout at me. <laughs> but anyway, she called me and she said, hey, you know, she's on the WTA tour, number one in the world. And the WTA tour, uh, the WTA has taken six months to do research for a company to find something that they can give to the players. Because the players were like, what can we use because the, the testing for illegal substances is so tough. And so the players were just like, we don't want to take anything. And so anyway, so they come down and they've chosen USANA. And actually the person who chosen it is on my team, uh, Nadine Wagey, who was two years ago, you guys remember that? <laughs> okay, but anyway, so Liesl, um told me about the athlete guarantee and it's now, including all the Chinese uh, athletes, it's 4,000 plus Olympic elite athletes that are using the products. So I was a bit stupid to not think that I should at least give it a try, <laughs> right? And as, as I didn't know if it was gonna work for me or not, I trusted Liesl, and that's usually the case. When somebody tells you about something, if you don't trust the person, you're not gonna like even look at them, right? But I really trusted her, and I'm so glad I did. And as you can see, as I, because she picked up the phone and called me, and it had such a big impact on me and my health and the lifestyle, because you saw her really just puts down a nice foundation for you on top of using the products. But you'll see here, I. I got to um, make an impact on these kids' lives. So I, I love these kids so much. I, <laughs> when they come and they bring me flowers, I'm just like, it's just like, and you know, clients coming to me. And so, but for me, in order to be doing this, I, I run around 30 hours a week on the tennis court. I, I play tennis with these kids. They're all high performers, they all play tournaments. 
I'm, I'm grateful to have my health and that's definitely one of my first priorities in life because your health determines the quality of your life. Um, I do want to just quickly go over and just say that Liesl came to me and he started it. <laughs> so, you know, Dr. Myron Wentz, he used to be an infectious disease, uh, he's a world-renowned microbiologist and his family members died from degenerative diseases and he thought he has all this knowledge and talent for really understanding what the human cell does and that really is why he decided, you know what, I'm going to put my focus on degenerative diseases and look at the USADA family, how it's grown over the years because this man had a real vision. This is my house. I, <laughs> I make a personalized custom my health bag I have all the USANA Salavich, gotta preserve the pretty, you know? And uh, um, those are my, I, I even do my masks. People who know me, they know I love my red three. And um, yeah, I used to be this tall, and look at me now. <laughs> Only three months later. <laughs> what I've learned over my time and working with USANA, and I went to the, to the place in in the lab and you know I was even checking out the vitamins there as you can see <laughs> really is that we all need supplements and <clears throat> I see my time's running low and I need to get going but the main thing is that there's two differences there's a pharmaceutical grade and the food grade in, in supplements I don't know if you guys are are familiar with that but if you're food grade it doesn't mean that you're not doing your job it just means that you don't have to have absorb absorption requirements. You don't have to have contaminants maybe re uh, present um, in non-pre-inspection requirements and the dosages vary. If you decide to do pharmaceutical grades, by the way, it's only 1% of supplements in the world has pharmaceutical grade, 1%. And what it, that means is you have absorption required within 45 minutes, you have ingredients inspected prior to production, and you have the exact dosages. So there you can see me and my, I was trying to be a scientist, but I figured they, they took it for me. And there's me and Dr. Oz goofing around, but uh, USANA is really listed in all the major publications, a physician's desk reference, and these names that I can't pronounce. <laughs> okay. It's really, I mean, as, as I say, Dr. Vince's vision is all about uh, having the, the healthiest family on earth. And um, I even feed it to my, to my dogs. I'm so joking, they're not drinking red for your cat. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, I was talking about USANA being my, my foundation. And um, here's my USANA family. I've been to four conventions and I have amazing teams. Uh, I've teamed up here with, with True Potential, but I also have one body. And there's Liesl and Jordan Kemper, and there's USANA's CEO. And I just can, I, whenever I'm, you know, amongst USANA family people, everybody's just happy and so wanting to help and, and just grow as people. And it's just really beautiful to see. This is not the reason why I'm here today, but I do want to say that because of USANA, I get to do events like these. I, I have a, a USANA business, as you know. I don't always work on it very actively, but when I do, I still getting paid for work that I've done two years ago. I get, I get a check in my, in my bank every week from USANA because the, the product is so good that it, um, people keep using it and that's why I will keep paying, get, get, getting paid commission. That's why, and I, I just love doing these events. Don't you guys think it's fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This was my before and after. Um, I had a little tummy there, don't you think? Uh, if I keep going, I'm going to look like Wonder Woman. What do you think? 